Hello and welcome to Market Ki Baatein. My name is Raja Vengatraman. I'm the co-founder of New Trader and also your trading influencer. Been in the market for more than 15 years, happily married with a loving wife and an energetic son who keeps me on the run just like the markets. Well, 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 we are finding out that the markets are struggling. As I said in the last video, Babo Ji, slowly go on. So the market is also trying to do something like that. What do you want to do now? What do you want to do in this situation? And comparing Nifty and Bank Nifty, I feel that Nifty seems to be in a much better position than Bank Nifty. And uh, you know soon why. Hang on till the end. I have a very interesting charts to discuss with you about Bank Nifty. It is probably uh, a very good situation for you to find out whether you should be looking at Bank Nifty from the same kind of view which you were having for the last few weeks. Now, when you take a look at what really happened today, nothing much at all. And uh, the way the markets are getting poised, there was a mixed reaction, some moves uh, seen in the media space, some moves seen in the metal space. And uh, that's about it. And uh, nothing much to offer on the table. What really moved was some sporadic moves from the Simmons space, some moves from the FMCG space. And uh, we, what you are actually seeing is some stock-specific action. And unless and until you have some bit of clarity, some bit of continuation of its prior trends, you are going to have a challenge right now because the markets are reaching a point where it's quite difficult to get a grip on the exact sentiment. Having said that, when you take a look at what really happened today, you would see that uh, the markets tried to go down a little bit and then it tried to recover, it regains its lost ground. And if you take a look at the option uh, structure itself, we are finding that the maximum pain point has now shifted. It has moved to 13,000 on the Nifty and it has moved to 30,000 on the Bank Nifty. Now, overall situation seems to be poised for continued upside because that's what the mood is, that's what the bias is. But are the charts in alignment with what the bias is saying? Are the levels in alignment with what the bias is? That's what we are going to see, whether the bias is to continue to remain on the bullish side or is it a time to step back? Let's go in and find out. So as I share my screen right now and uh, we take a look at that. So first chart we'll be seeing is the chart of Nifty. You can take a look at the charts of Nifty and you can see very clearly that uh, the charts of Nifty has been moving along on a very nice pace. But then if you just apply some simple approaches, okay, if you just apply some simple approaches, you will see that we are applying the concepts of candlesticks and you can see that there is some attempt but then the tiredness in the trend, okay, it's called as a long body doji. It's a long, not long body, it's a long doji, long leg doji. There were some long leg dojis and uh, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see here that the number of dojis at higher levels are increasing. Well, it is in an overbought zone and dojis are increasing. So yes, it is a time for you to be cautious, but not on the bearish side. However, if you get an intraday opportunity to go short, you should not hesitate at the current juncture. So what I would advocate is be ready to go short, but be wary to go long because the market is clearly getting stuck at some zone. So if you just go and take a look even at a smaller time frame chart, let me just show you here that you are stuck. Okay. And uh, if I were to draw something like a channel here, you can see here a nice channel formation being formed on the Nifty. So you have around 13,400 to 13,600. It could be a channel belt for the Nifty. And this particular channel belt that has been formed over the last four to five trading sessions is clearly suggesting that the trends are not really having some bit of clarity. So unless and until you get even a modest 30 minute candle above this zone of around 13,600, I would not wager a buy here. Why? Because I am having some serial divergences here. So those who are not familiar with divergences, you could go and take a look on uh, the internet or you can watch some videos. 
the divergence is a very interesting concept from the rsi studies and they are suggesting that the trends are getting a little bit tired right now and for the whole scenario to make a change you need to get a nice closing around this levels 570 580 are the levels but i would wager a 13 uh, 20 points more and wait for a closing above 13600 to be on the safe side so this is the scenario on the nifty on the charts so let's go down and take a look at the whole setup from our friend neo trader so when you go into neo trader you are looking once again at a scenario where you are looking at a possibility of a convergence or a confluence you can see here i have drawn this confluence zone here where the r1 of tomorrow and the r2 of the multi day there is a tie up there there is a tie up between the pivot and the r1 as you can see on the video you can see here that these are two levels to watch out for so the 13570 is the first level and right now nifty is at that spot so i would wait for a more comfortable closing so like i said a close above 13600 is what i would want so 13645 is a level where which if it exceeds then you got a clear room till 13782 so you can see here that this is in tie up with your multi day r3 so you got a nice tie up around 13780 to 13800 it opens up nice room to the upside a 150 point move and if some positive triggers were to kick in you would see that uh, the nifty is going to go to that level so unless and until you get a move above this confluence zone around 13650 which will also take care of the minimum 30 minute candle close above that channel belt it would uh, ensure that uh, the nifty continues to be on the positive territory now let's look on the other side the other side of course is the negative side and you can see here that somewhere around this zone see you can see here the pivot okay let me just change the color a bit you can see here this is the pivot zone there is a small confluence zone here right there is a confluence zone here of the multi day if you were to drop your s1 there is a confluence zone at s1 right so what we are looking at is that you can take up even 13442 423 is much closer so one a move below 13450 is something which you should not be looking for you should so 13650 on the upside 13450 on the downside would be the levels to watch out for in the nifty for the next uh, at least for this week's expiry till uh, we get some clue on that so those are the levels which we are going to be tracking 13650 and uh, 13450 now let's move to bank nifty well this uh, index has definitely been the star performer and uh, what this index got to say this index has shown some bit of urgency here but then after it crossed the 30000 zone you can see that uh, it has actually stayed back a little bit and uh, it is trying to confront its previous highs so like i said nifty managed to cross its previous high if you refer my earlier video i said but uh, bank nifty has not crossed or not made a new high in uh, this 2020 so it, whether this move is going to continue or whether we would be seeing this i am showing you on a weekly chart okay so now let's go and take a look on the daily chart you can see here that there is a small bump above the 70 zone by the rsi also which saying that yes hang on i am trying to show a bullish scenario but is it going to continue or not we can take a look at the daily chart and what i find is this pattern is called as a wedge pattern you can see here that there is a coiling going on here and uh, we are expecting that the momentum should continue but then markets is not about certainty it's always about uncertainty so you can see here that at this juncture if this particular wedge is going to give away then you can expect 
a sharp decline in bank nifty so well if it were to decline then you could expect a target zone around uh, maybe 1500 points from this point of drop which would take it somewhere around uh, 28800 so you are expecting at least a 1000 to 1200 point drop if bank nifty were to fall and the fall could be very swift why because this is a reversal pattern and uh, these are some patterns which you should be seeing after a strong run to the upside or a strong run to the downside and like i said between nifty and bank nifty bank nifty is definitely in a weaker spot and the momentum too is showing signs of exhaustion so now if it were to move down there is already some bit of negative divergence building up but then it's not confirmed it will get confirmed only with the breakdown so the breakdown is somewhere around 30300 so like i said 30000 is the uh, maximum pain point in bank nifty so once it begins to move below this zone you will see that uh, the bearishness in bank nifty increases and that could actually permeate into the entire system and well we could see something which we have not seen in a while which is some widespread decline so i'm not saying that we need to uh, start panicking right now but then it is time for us to have our uh, antennas on have our guards on and uh, start dabbling in some shorts as well all right so let's go and take a look at our friend new trader and find out what does he have to say about the levels so if you take a look at these levels out here there is a very very clear confluence of r1 so work gets cut out here 30800 so bank nifty is at 3690 so 700 to so 3780 then on the upside you have sufficient room because once that gets taken care then you have room till 31300 to 31350 so these are some levels on the upside and on the downside you have a confluence zone here so unless and until it moves below 30400 so we spoke about 30300 so these are the zones to watch out for so once it begins to go below 30400 you know that yes things are once again beginning to slip and uh, that's when you need to worry about the whole scenario as well so right now bank nifty is in a very tricky situation it's at an inflection point and you need to be tracking this index very aggressively because this could give you a good twist in the whole bullish scenario so what you are observing right now is a very interesting part of the whole chart setup and this is what i wanted to share with you as part of this video i hope you like what i shared and if you did like what i shared do leave a like and comment on the video and also share this video with as many people as possible because this kind of structured analysis is not done anywhere on the internet thank you for watching this video stay safe stay healthy this is raja venkatraman signing off i'm the co-founder of new trader and also a trading influencer been in the market for more than 15 years happily married with a loving wife and an energetic son who keeps me on the run just like the market Thank you stay safe stay healthy